More than one million Ohioans are stuck in a system where a small increase in pay means a big loss to the budget. They're called benefit cliffs, and they happen when people who are on public assistance receive a small increase in earnings, which can disqualify them from public assistance. And when that happens, that small increase in pay becomes a net loss. It sure does. Nonprofit leaders are trying to change all that, though, by starting at the local level. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg explains. There is dignity in work, and there is humility in seeking help. But for Jasmine Price, I love being around kids. One got in the way of the other. When I applied for a child care voucher, I was denied because I made $80 over the income of what I was supposed to have. She found herself at the edge of a benefit cliff, a floating teacher for the YWCA. Engaging with children, help where needed. Her small earnings increase made her ineligible for public assistance. Food stamps, gone. Daycare and rental assistance, vanished. Her budget, torpedoed. With me having to pay rent and utilities and making sure we have food and essentials, it just wasn't enough for me to be able to pay for childcare as well. So when I was denied, I was very disappointed. Jasmine had to really make a decision as to was she's going to work or was she's going to, you know, have to quit her job to be able to stay home with her daughter. Letitia Gomez says the YWCA stepped in when public assistance couldn't. But those working to bring awareness to the problem say stories like Jasmine's are all too common. It's not that people don't want to work. It's not that they're too lazy to work. It's that our system is not set up to support or to incentivize work. Benefit Cliffs are part of the United Way's new initiative called the Social Determinants of Work, which aims to examine barriers to employment and the wages needed to support families. And then ultimately, the Benefit Cliffs is a state and federal policy issue. So how can we at least change the narrative and begin to push back on the policies that create this problem in the first place. With the help of the YWCA, Jasmine can continue teaching and caring for her kids because there is dignity in work. I really want us to be able to work so I can provide. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.